Good evening, folks. It's 2110 on the 19th day, 11th month, 2022. And while well, I'm having a little peek at this sun. There's a few flares kicking off. You see here, this one's, this one's burping quite regular. See, lots of filaments been snapping that direction. You can see a wave go actually across the center of the sun. Watch this. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, I was just having a quick peek at that. And then I'm going to gonna go look at the beams. Always look at this first. See the shock wave go across the sun? Right here at the end. See that part right there? See the corona hole have a have a blast? Something it came out. As in it changed its temperature. You can see it over here as well. It's very interesting. Yeah, the sun it, it, it ripples too. It's 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 plasma. Here I'll get it up real big. So we're watching this sun quake, if you will. It, it ripples across the, the face of the sun here. Very dramatic, huh? I like to look at the sun. So I thought I'd give you a quick, quick glimpse. Look at the filaments here. See it? This is a... When it's facing straight on you, it's hard to tell that it's all loops like this going vastly in the distance. That's just this is fantastic to see. Whoa! That kicked off a flare. Got like one of those uh, sun tornadoes going on there. See it in that spot? Oh, I can do it like this. Very dramatic. Of course, you see lots of faces and stuff because you got lots of circles, lots of squares, lots of things. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Look at these filaments snapping. Those are big. Yes, it's very active today. I would say space weather would be considered active. Let's see if we can catch this on the end, too. See, we see this sun quake. Incredible, eh? Wow. That's quite a bit of activity right here. It's a square in a corner here. Yeah, I'm watching something on the limb. Wow, when that thing collapsed, that thing really kicked off. When that wave went across the, the sun, when it reached this filament here, it kicked it off. Look, look at the reaction it had in the sun. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Boom. Boom. Boom went the sun. And it flashed toward us at the time, so that, that puts quite a bit of energy out. Hmm. They came by me and they said, Is that even possible? If we don't ask questions, we'll never answer questions, that's for sure. Right? And this is just a solar dashboard, and I just daily movies, dashboard stuff. So I'll, I'll give you, a, you guys this one. It's just places I could look at. I like to see the sun. Isn't that cool? He says the sun was weird this morning. What? Could you actually see it? <laughs> he packed up his camper van down by the river. That seems like a goal in life. Actually. Now they don't want to even want you to live in the van down by the river. My God, look at this. Look at the totals here, huh? Huh, huh? Somebody's having it? You say we're having it here? The UK is, uh... We're going to have a big problem coming over the next uh, 10 days as well. All these eastern sides. But we got a good bit of our rain in the last couple of days. And we're going to have a big storm come through. So before I go, 
Australia. I'm just going to show a quick uh, look at us. Look at us. Look at it. Hey, it's coming. It's coming. Whammo. Right. We got a big storm coming through. Right. It comes through quickly. It's going to come through tonight. And then we're going to get it again. See the sucker hit Ireland right here? Boy, is that going to be roaring through here. Right. It's going to cause big problems with these sticky outfits over here. Yeah, stick out in the ocean into this flow. Now, these winds ain't ain't no joke. Not at all. Now, you're up near hurricane strength in some of these these spots, right? Anything over 63 miles an hour is considered hurricane strength. So we go to miles per hour. We are above 63. We have a hurricane. Off the coast of uh, England, uh, two days from now. Not even. Yep, those winds indicate that. That's 40. And you jumped up. We hit the big numbers. That's hurricane strength winds impact in Plymouth, impact in the tip right here of Cornwall, Penzance, hurricane warning, England. See it for the 21st? That's hurricane strength wind. So we have not been warned that we're going to get a winter hurricane. That's a hurricane all day long. That's not. Right, this is, this is bad. It's going to move through rather quickly. Just look at the wind band on this influence in the channel here. My God, are you going to cop it through here to bite for... Because the wind swirling around is going to get you anyhow. Right through here. Hey, booty. Camel. Padstool. You're fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are going to have some flooding. You're getting the rain. And you're getting the wind. And you're getting a battery from the ocean. And you're well capping it. Hey Ireland, Wexford. How you doing? Yeah, not too good. Not too good for England. Okay, I just showed you. We got a hurricane. Yep, setting it up right now. Setting it up right now. So I'm going to look. So bear with me, Stray. I'm coming to look for you guys. This boy, are you about to cap it? Wow. Where do you stop once you start? Chem bomb, chem bomb city over here, over in the USA. I digress. I want to see a storm. Does it look like there's a hurricane out here or something that's going to cause such winds? No. But the geoengineers could have made these conditions is just right with the cold air that's over the top of England right now. All these chemtrails you see that were laid today over the top of us, which I can verify I've seen. There's Dino. Yeah, for Fred Flintstone's uh, dinosaur. Yeah, he, he, he was run here by Kubrick. All right, we got here some chem, 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 chem. So there's, there's the setup. Is that? Uh, oh, it's going to come quick. See the square out in the sky over here? You can just catch out the EMF in the top. Undulations in the clouds here with bombs. One, two, three, one, two, three is a line. One, two, three, four of them right there. My goodness gracious. Right, Straya. Hey, Turkey, how you doing? Getting fried, getting fried, Turkey style. Bzzz. Get babs. Chitter Tavuk fried chickens. Oh my god, would you look at the guilt here? Hi, have it, have it, have it. They just finished that climate conference. Everybody's gone. You can spray them up now. Like bugs. Like bugs. It even looks like a bug. How you liking your mosquitoes over here, huh? Perfect head.
Fishing time over here. Hey, everybody, you don't have your rain, but you have the mosquito time. Hey, look, you got a smiley in the forest down here. The eyes and a smile and everything. See the imaginary in here? Happy forest time because it got it some sunlight. Yay. But there's a chem bomb. No. The sad face. Oh, no. I look like a chicken. How you doing? Looking at this guy going, you're despicable. And speaking of despicable, this is over here I, uh, by the garden, got a gang gang gang, and uh, the sedaciousness of it all, if I'm on the right, yep, yep, we're there. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The entrance is so wet. Moist Brooklyn, Mona Vale. It's nice to see it's not pissing it down rain for a change. Over at Katoma, you got, you got sprayed. And fried, and tendrils creeping your way. You know that's just like that. You see it coming, and there it's headed your way. And that was this morning. And here's now. Right now is better than tomorrow, because tomorrow might never ever arrive, because it's always right now. So it's never tomorrow. So now is the moment. Now is the we. Now is the time. Turn off all these cities and get down to the nitty gritty. All right, let's see what's happened to the entrance today. Were they moisture baiting you? Come on, clear up. There we go. Boom! Something over there. Boom, 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 boom. Just want Alexa to play some random music. Boom, 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 boom. Double, 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 double. Testicles. They're testing things in the sky. It's streamering off. Now I just went back 30 minutes. Now here's 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. The Pluma Nazis still at it. 10 minutes was an hour. 10 minutes. Done. Bombing, moving. Bombing, moving, and bombing, and moving, and bombing, and moving, and bombing, and wasting money in the sky. Wasting money. What a shame. As we go down to the to the mutual corner here. So I can't fit you all in at once. Well, if we get the Tasmaniacs over with. <laughs> now y'all are cool. You know, you got to be breathing this chem bomb I'm pointing at here. The Eye of Sauron. Where's Gollum when you need him? To bite the finger off of the Greek one that changes his mind at the end. See, I'm doing 10 minute jumps. Right, the boom boom plume changing into squares. Into one of those, the Angel of Death formation. Dominoes in your skies. All right, let's go over to the corner here. I saw a star. I'm your boogeyman. Woo! Boogeyman cloud. Dolly's melting clock. Maybe the acid just got that high in the sky. And it's been high time that somebody that not only seen the elephant in the room, but realized that it, not only has the elephant sat at him, but they're shoulder deep in the elephant now. There's the Southern Cross. Oh, like somebody shit their underwear. Underwear sky, shit stained skies. I was told in school I should never swear. It would never get me anywhere. So I, they were right. I just sit in my room all the time, but I could swear. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. There's so many booms in this song. It would be like, like a, a fife and drum chorus, drumming band part. Oh, you people imagine you're some patriot fife and drum corps shit. Well, look at they're bombing you again. They bombed you on a Saturday when you were protesting at Melbourne Lark. Over the top of you, you were chemically attacked. This one here going in the wrong way. Hang on, let's go backwards here. 
What the fuck happened with this shit just sitting here? Hello? There's a whole lot of tapping in it. Faster, faster, master, fry us all. Fry him on the low deck with the glitch, the glitch in Stein. Yeah. Pinky and the brain, pinky and the brain. They pushed too hard and left a big stain. Oh, we got Bistbin is frying again. Bzzz, Bistbin. The wicked glitch of the West. He's got the full broomstick handle shoved somewhere right in the center of this spot over here. And you got broom flying too. Oh my. That's a big circle beam. Let's have a good look at this. Let's determine where the flow is going. Oh, there's a beam right out to sea and there's a beam here. So your corridor is right there. Right there. And all your farts are windy. So the glitch is going on here. The glitch is on. The glitch is making clouds streaming down. Drippy chemtrails. Drip, 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 drip like a faucet. Yeah, I know all the annoying noises in class to make. Because it all comes down to just one heartbeat away from being the last heartbeat for something breathing is. <laughs> boom! 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 Went the plumes. Oh my gosh. Are you okay, Eddie? Eddie, you okay? Are you okay? Did you drop anything, Eddie? Hope you wouldn't have been like a fish in the net cleaning the tank at the tank. That would be amusing thought and all. Look at these chem bombs going off here in all these different directions in the atmosphere. This one says, I'm going to go north. This one says, well, I'm going to go south. So maybe it's like a border exchange. All these people are escaping Melbourne and Victoria to get away from that. The, the guy you want to put out of office, Dan. If anybody votes for that tool, you're a numb nut. No, really. I don't usually have a political opinion at all because I think we're fucked no matter who gets here. There'll be another Dan to hate. But oh my God. What a hit Larry in that. Really. I'm going to change the name from Victoria to Hitler Toria when he was in charge. My God, I ain't never. Come on. The magic bullet stairs. You believe that story? That dude toted an ass whooping for something. They just ain't admitted it. Boom, 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 boom. And that is all I had to say about that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm feeling rather inspired tonight. It must be this coffee. Or having a chair to sit in with a cushion. This is very nice. And thank you, everybody, for your kind support. And hey, got some nice piece of jewelry sitting here. Hey, nobody paid for me. And I told you, it's first come, first serve. First come, first serve. That's some beautiful pieces. Oh my, look at the bombs. Look, 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 they bombed you. Look, like Dresden, man. It's like Dresden without the melting stuff. You're just getting bombed and you're breathing this in. And this is this is the stuff that causes rain and floods. This is the one. This is the deployment. Today is the day that the rains from which you complain are caused in the sky, not just by planes. You got balloon methods going on. Yeah, you got microwave-directed energy weapons being used in the form of Nexrad radar stations. Yeah, you got lots of Nexrads. And the way we f find out about Nexrads is we can go down here and we can take these satellites. Right, we go radar, right? And then you can go to a... A lot of these things will tell you about them. So you can go like... Let's say Victoria. So you can go to the individual lot. Uh, let's say like Melbourne. And it'll tell you about what kind it is. It's a, it's a S1 band Doppler. 24 hours a day. So that tells you that's a Doppler. You see how you can find these things. It tells you it's exact location. So you can mark your maps. Uh huh. What it's predictable glitch is. It ain't a glitch if it's all the time. The Yarra ranges. These are these echoes. Which usually occur. Now these are always do or they don't. Alright. These are the mountain is shaped like that or it isn't. 
All right, don't buy that bullshit. Because the radar is unobstructed view. That's it's good fray. Hey, Medora, look what you get. All right, so here's how you find out. Oh, you got a C band. It's got the meteor. So you can look up what all these things can do. And the sales brochures that sells what they can do. You got a C band. C band Diana Double Pole. So that one there could do a uh, can do a a great big pulse. Arawanga, just C band. Oh, and uh, yeah, yeah. See, we well, you could do your homework. So you guys have uh, you've been fried, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really bad. So uh, now I'm gonna get over to your more exciting things that you like to see. What I don't like to see uh, is uh, the generation of a uh, man-made weather storm that's been set up and predicted well in advance. And when it's done with uh, these 10 days, it's coming for New South Wales border area. In Queensland. Yep. So look at it, have it, have it, as we go through today. Uh, the inundation of thousands of miles of storm front uh, begins. And as we head into your nighttime hours, when the cooling off of the cloud tops goes on, then the, the frying of the radars will sustain the rest of the storms overnight to continue their absolute fuckery of Australia. Yep, yep, the drowning pool, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just a movie. It is a way of life for some people. And as the radar split the storms and begin them to march across the Carpentaria area peninsulas on Monday, uh, on about uh, 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, Queensland time, Oh my God! You're gonna be so wet in the Northern Territory and up in here. This whole half of the country is absolutely uh, it is running with water by now because you've had well over 24 hours of continuous heavy downpours. Seriously bad lightning. Uh, don't get caught in your roof. If you got miles between you and somewhere, and you got no high ground. You might want to seek it now. And this cells here are gonna get quite bad. That Catherine area is, is still well slated to have a big problem coming here in the afternoon. Fitzroy Crest and places where your balls go. You know, all that Halls Creek, this area here. Beneath the place where your balls go. That's where I came up with that one. Continuous flooding along the creek lines. Right along the creek lines. And I'm talking for a week. This ain't gonna stop. I ain't enough for a whole fucking week like a monsoon. And the tendril don't end till here. Right? That's where the tendril stops. But the dynamics are all there. The cold air coming from down the polar region down here, mixing off the coast into the tropics and in is a recipe for a fucking disaster. All you gotta do is add the chem bombs and you will own the weather. Energize the low deck with the microwaves. Boom the plumes. And you reap the doubloons. Boom a da boom a boom a boom boom a dang 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 bang boom 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 boom. And there it went away. Now let's see the first bomb. Boom. It farts. It sizzles. It spreads out. It finds a nose. And a nose over there, and then they fart. Blah. Look at this fizzing, bombing mess over here, over this radar. Right over the radar, in a V-shape. Look at this glitch causing a cloud. There's a glitch causing a cloud. Right up here. Controlling the weather, man, right there before your eyes. So that beam is shooting out, too. See, you, you can tell when they're on in the weather by what happens with the clouds. Told you it had a weird V-shape to it at the end. Where did that V-shape came from? What's the likely suspect for a V-shape? Could it be a microwave burst? Could it be... That ignorance is not so blissful for those that are forced to deal with the ignorant. 
Hey, it ain't a wicked glitch, man. It's weather manipulation. It's called geoengineering. Get it through your heads. It's a very real thing. And you guys are about to have some big problems. Big, big, big problems. As they bomb out this area that's going to flood over the next 24 hours and over the next four days. Uh, your poster child. There's going to be people with boats out rescuing people. I don't know if there's enough helicopters to pull the people in the remote areas off of places. Have you got your, uh, your pastures open? Have you got your food out for your cattle? Uh, you might be too late. Can you take care of yourselves and your family? That's the most important thing right now. Fuck your stuff. Repeat after me. Fuck my stuff. I'll be okay. Wow, look at that bomb. Look, look, look. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my, look at the cluster of bombs here. This is man-made weather documentation of a flood being made in progress. That's a chem bomb going on. So I took you through that week. And as we get over to here, right, we got pressures that look like this. I'll turn some of this animation off. Just to look at the numbers. Right, the bubble up is still strong through the tropics. Um, if this is, has to pinch off at some point. Uh, the wind depends on the flow. With the wind flowing down, this will tend to spin. That will capture that and eventually move that over. So you expect that to happen right around, uh, I'd say every bit of around the 29th, that will spin a cyclone. And it will come this direction, which will allow this to, to move again. When this moves, again, sets up the north uh, for a bad time. But this time, um, the bubble up sliding sideways like this. Because of that storm is going to encapsulate it. And until this high repositions itself over. Uh, this is where your main rains are going to come. So you're looking at that around the first of the month. And then again you'll get hit again through here. Every bit of a week. Because the setup is there. Look the low and everything is already there. So when this comes up to this. And this high pressure shoves that out of the way. As that becomes a cyclone again. Your setup is storms there, but the 14s will be lower this time, down to a line of cuss, Lismore and all this. So it'll be uh, maybe uh, Bisbin's turn to uh, catch what they afraid, because they've defended their city from storms and pushed them somewhere else. And then I have a feeling it'll be their turn again. Though they've been warning about fire things around here, so who knows, maybe uh, they're saying drought. <clears throat> Can you believe they're saying drought? Yeah, you guys are, uh, you really, really fucked. Uh, if you find my work of value and want to support it, you could do so by buying some jewelry, which I'll probably have a show a little later on this evening or tomorrow morning. Or you can uh, do so directly at payypal.me forward slash Robert Deutsch. No, you will not get a fine uh, for supporting anybody. But yeah, there is definitely some fuckery going on with the helping us help each other. All right, big love, people, and watch where your balls go. Boy, are they fucked. Your balls are fucked, Balgo. But the, the area of total inundation uh, is through here. And I'll give you a, a really accurate, your fuck, fucked count. Because you can see who it is. This is just the hardest part to do. Is to go around and do the pronunciation. Right, this, this whole area is fucked. And there's more of it coming. You know, as we get over toward this 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 five day mark, you're going to see this this orange line will be all through here. That's how much you're getting over the next day. Uh, Fifteen days. It's going to be really bad. All right, keep your heads about you, people. Keep safe. If you can't be good, be good at it. If you can't be good at it, don't do anything. And hey, look, Higgins, you could draw a dick. So stop being one. Big love. Peace. Geoengineering is real stuff banning people for talking about it. Hashtag exposed to 28.